The piece I wrote that really, um, it's like a three short stories, poetic form. It's called The Light. So now you're sitting contemplating just what you gotta do about the matters that are relating and if you're gonna follow through to make ends meet, you wanna eat what's keeping heat on. But your pockets is broken, you're tired of hearing that same old song. See, the pull is strong, but you know how they be living in them streets where it's survival of the fittest inside the belly of a beast with more heat that drops bodies just like flies in the summer. Where others be hating on their enemies in traffic, riding in their hummers. Where young Thundercats battle like he men over crack with scales is tore, thinking paper chasing will be heaven. Why? Because they've lived in hell before, balling all out of control, but falling deeper in the hole, singing through profits they gain the world while really selling their soul. It's time the truth gets told like the rocks that got your man put on parole, or the pressure of paying bills that got your baby mama working that pole. Man, it's a cold world we living in when crews butts nothing mag and taps a slice of cinnamon in Satan's name like Eminem. It's the sinning men that got so many not knowing what they do. So Father, forgive them and have mercy because only your word is true. I said it's that sinning men that got so many not knowing what they do. So Father, forgive them and have mercy because only your word is true. But can you see the light, the light I want to know? Can you see the light? So now you're college educated and graduated top of your class. Did never think in your wildest dreams that you see this day come to pass on your first interview to quench the thirst has gotten into you. Excited by the opportunity to demonstrate your work ethic and interview for a corporation that's in fact known for exploitation and the creation of compromising situations offer compensation. Your heart's racing when the phone rings because it's the company on the other end extending you a position and congratulations if you decide to come on in the circle of associates that have access to riches and power, but you're blind to the shadows that lurk in the nooks and crannies of this dark tower. When you enter, you immediately become the center of attention, answering questions at the dime of the business at lunch about your ambition. You mentioned that you had to work real hard in order to make it where you are, but without the help of those who supported you, you would have never made it this far. They can see the stars in your eyes and are more than willing to help you rise, but what you don't realize is about the plan on the table for you to open up them thighs wide open mm -hmm. by your advances. They compromise principle for corporate chances. Not realizing the music they play for you is to do the devil's dances because you're just a small town girl from Kansas who wanted to live a life that mattered, willing to do whatever it takes to make it up that corporate ladder. But can you see the light, the light I want to know? Can you see the light? See, uh, teenage love is so innocent in the early beginning until they enter adult situations and then they start sinning, experimenting with sexual feelings while searching for self-healing because unprotected hearts lead to disease when prophylactic start peeling like bananas. Situations get all slippery when lifestyles get broken to bring forth that special delivery. No mystery who's the parents because the child looks like you're both without a nuclear family. Can there ever really be any hope when patterns get shattered like a child's dreams of daddy and mommy together? Yet there's a roof over baby's head, but it's still threatened by that weather of stormy environments from ambulance and police sirens after the thunder claps, lightning strikes, and heaven cries from gun firing or when that child starts admiring the adolescents who's cross-dressing, unsure of their own gender identity, so in turn they just start guessing because uncle was molesting both baby boy and baby girl, mm. robbing both of their, both of them of their innocence, so baby now has the whole joy in the world, curled up in the false reality that it created as a defense, unsure what size to choose, so instead it just straddles the fence, intensely wishing they were never born because inside is so much subjection because being without both parents can be just like an HIV infection. But mm. can you see the light, the light I want to know? Can you see the light you lit? You lit? We gonna keep